a whole roasted sea bass. Uh -huh. And we're going to stuff it with some olives and, I mean olives. Some, see, I'm drunk already. <laughs> yeah. I told you. Some lemons and some nice aromatic herbs. Yeah. And you're going to make the salsa verde. Okay. And basically, when I do salsa verde, you know, there's no rule. You can kind of use whatever you want. It's just green. It's just green. I mean, I think today we're going to do basil, chives, parsley, mm -hmm. and uh, coriander. Okay. Which I quite yeah. like. It. Excellent. So what's first? Yeah, have, so, have your big fish. Thank you. They'd be That's good with olives, though. Mm. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It's huge. Right, and you want me to chop some of this up, yeah? Yes, please. I'm just going to make a little... Okay. Like that, yeah? Okay. And then on the other side as well. Now, how do you want this? Big chunky bits or quite fine? No, quite fine. Quite fine. Can okay. you handle it? Yeah, I'll try. Do you like the fish that we've got around these parts as opposed to on your warmer, warmer west coast fish? Yes, the fish here is delicious. I mean, you've got all this incredible seafood, oysters, lobster, everything's native, it's all here. I think yeah. all that beautiful cold climate seafood is amazing. That's what I love. It's quite different from warmer waters. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, okay. When I worked in San Francisco, I yeah. saw amazing fish, but I didn't think they had quite the flavour of our... Now, uh, uh, now, now, now. <laughs> <laughs> I think all the uglier, the tastier. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought we'd get into a, a, Is that like the man? a fish <laughs> argument. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Gwyneth, you've, you've got homes sort of all over the place, haven't you? I mean, Have do you, I? Is there wow. one? Well, just like you imagine. So, yeah. It sounds very Wales, exciting. That's it. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, do you have one that you, you, you sort of have a favourite cooking in because of the, the local sort of ingredients or the local stores? You know, we have a house on Long Island. You know, and we're there in the summer and there's crazily abundant corn and everything grows there. It was a farming community back in the day before all the annoying city people came and we, we wrecked it but uh but there's amazing produce amazing seafood it's all right there it's it's so beautiful nice Gorgeous. restaurants out there as well yeah i mean so? just when you have ingredients that good and that that right at your fingertips i mean you can't really go to astray you know it's like yeah. you just have to not mess it up basically yeah, yeah. summer cooking is fantastic isn't it yeah. just all grills and salads and lime and coriander lime and coriander how, how, how are you getting on cooking over here because it's very obviously it's very different Quite climate yeah, and it doesn't it, necessarily suit the I like just doing something different. I think, you know, food is very much about, you know, London's a much more internal place. The UK is more internal. It's about being indoors and cooking and creating that, that romance. And I grew up in Melbourne in, in Australia, and it's not quite as sunny and hot all the time as you think. So, yes. yeah, it brings back those childhood memories. But you didn't exactly embrace the slow cooking... No, I did. Coffee. But I've got to say did now, you? to see all of this, I think you embrace the seasons. And yes. to see this, you know, this abundance come out now, you get even more excited. No tarragon? No. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Tarragon. No, no, no. no. no that would be wrong. That would be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So, sorry, what, what, what herbs do you have there? So, parsley, there's chives. chives. There's tarragon in here. OK. okay. Uh, parsley, <laughs> chives, whatever. You know, anything that's around and in season and looking yeah, good. Apart like from tarragon. Like <laughs> no, no. No, to, there is tarragon in there. You can't put tarragon in a salsa verde. Okay, can I stick this in the oven? Yes, you can. Okay. It's lovely. It's beautiful. Right. Is this fine enough for you? No, keep going. Not you. <laughs> 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 Don't hijack the recipe. I'm asking so how long is that going for? <laughs> well, it's a big fish, so at least a half an hour. Okay. So we'll, we'll what temperature? Have have at uh, 220 degrees oh. Celsius. Okay. <laughs> right, what next? Don't ask me the gas mark, because no, I'll, right. I'll combust. We don't know anything. <laughs> okay, is that fine enough before I start? Yeah, I rest? like it quite... Rustic? Rustic. Brilliant. So do I. Okay. okay, what next? So, take some anchovies. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Is that enough? That's enough. Yeah. Now, how do you cope yeah. when you're... Because you're, you're clearly quite sort of into your food, I, yeah. as we saw from that life on a plate and the way you were tucking into everything <laughs> on the table. I mean, do you, um, do you cook for your, uh, your sort of contemporaries on, on, on movie sets and stuff like that? On movie well, sets? Well, not on no. the movie set, you know. <laughs> not in that, not in that sort of... Set up a barbecue in the trailer park. <laughs> not, like, not like we do down at Borough Market. Take over the catering This is the wrong order, man. This is the wrong order. Is wrong. No, no, it's oh, good. No. Um, is that enough? That's too much. Oh, too much what, of this? No, this, too much of that. But it's the wrong, how are you going to make it, okay, fine. Let's get my hands in. Okay, go on. How much? That? Yeah, all right, go ahead. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Wait, I've got to follow him. Fire now, him. in the meantime, I'm going to make <laughs> my... Wait, brown vinegar? Yes, please. Yes, good. Here. So I'm going to make a sort of a farmer's market salad. Any lettuce is fine that you like. We've got some watercress, rocket, 
regular old lettuce. OK, so anyway, this is incredibly easy. All I have here is some blanched English peas, mm -hmm. some broad beans, or fava beans, as we call them in America, yep. radishes, spring onion, and that's it. There's right. so much oil. Oil in that. that looks pretty good. Really? Gosh. Here we go. Ah. Good save, Matt. Yeah. What does it need? I haven't tried it yet. Um, it doesn't need Are you quite your... fierce in the kitchen? Yeah. A little bit. I'm sensing yeah. you are. <laughs> 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 um, a little more vinegar, I think. Yeah. Wow. Go on. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, and I'm going to make some salad dressing. Mm-hmm. do you think you'll do another food series? I don't know. Um, the, the guys Thank that you. I did, the Spain one, um, they're in Korea right now doing one with Jean Georges. Uh, oh, I can't remember really? his last name. Von, von, von Richten. Von Richten. Von Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. With his mm. wife and um, him, and because she's, I think she's Korean, and but she was, she's just sort of discovering her Korean nest Freaks. because she was adopted, and um, so I may go over and join them for a little. He's an amazing chef. Okay. Yeah, I he's very talented. Mm. Okay, mm. so I've just put some, a little maple bit of syrup. Dijon, some maple syrup. Oh, maple syrup. That's quite peculiar. I think peculiar. the honey in dressing is nice, too. Yeah, yeah. but I like maple, I'm a maple syrup fan. But you could use honey or mm -hmm. agave. Right, shall I get the fish out of the oven? Is the fish ready? That would be great. As if by magic. So how long about? About <laughs> half an hour, 220. <laughs> <laughs> just, we just, you know, wow. just touch it to make sure it's mm. not bouncing back. This is going in this quirky if I was, shell. If I was at home, I would do this with my hands, but as I'm on television, really? <laughs> I'll do it with these lovely spatula thingies. Do you want a hand with that? I don't want to see it break apart. That would be really tragic. Oh. Good job. Very good. There you go. Clap that fish. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just dress this a little bit. I'm going to make sure I get some of the peas and... Oh, it just nice. looks fresh and gorgeous, doesn't mm. it? Those are lovely. Okay, and there you have a whole roasted sea bass mm -hmm. with salsa verde and farmer's market salad. Yeah. <laughs>to make Gwyneth's perfect summer entertaining dish by a whole sea bass from the fishmonger and a lemon tarragon basil chives parsley coriander watercress rocket iceberg lettuce spring onions peas broad beans and radishes stock up your store cupboard with anchovies dijon mustard red wine and champagne vinegars extra virgin olive oil and maple syrup